Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video. More outro today and if you follow the channel over the past month, you've seen me beat a ton of chapters and my attack has increased significantly. So today we're going to be going over that big number, the attack, and help out both beginners and advanced players to really get that to where it needs to be so you can beat those chapters too. But first, a word from our sponsor. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and remember, I Pick My Butt. Oh, my butt hurts. Hello everyone, I Pick My Butt here. You're probably thinking this is an ad for a leaf, but here on the I Pick My Butt channel, we're not about hiding the pain and masking it, but we're about taking that pain and making it not even a thing. So that's why today, I'm proud to introduce to you the E-Win Racing Gaming Chairs. Yes, that's right, my butt's been hurting me for a while, and my elbow, it feels like tennis elbow, but now with these chairs, what a world of difference. Wowzers, where did this come from? Holy cow, this feels like I'm sitting on a cloud. That's right, the I Pick My Butt channel is proud to team up with Ewin Racing to showcase their amazing gaming chairs and gaming accessories. With five different categories of chairs to choose from, it's surely able to fit anybody's comfort and budget. Awarded the best chair of 2021, Ewan uses a high durability carbon structural electrostatic powder coating steel frame. Combine that with Ewan's hydrolysis resistant 2.0 polyurethane leather, an Ewan ultra premium molded code cure foam, and you have yourself one of the most comfortable chairs on the gaming market. And let's not forget how cool these chairs look. With head and lumbar pillows, hubless casters, and a frame that holds up to 400 pounds, don't worry, if you're over 400, they got chairs for you too. Make sure you click on the link in the description and use code PICK to get 20% off your purchase. And I really gotta tell you, I absolutely love that game and chair. Now back to the attack, for most beginner players, you're probably focusing on three things. Upgrading your weapon, upgrading your bracelet, and upgrading your hero. Eventually, all these weapons will unlock a 5% attack increase, and as a beginner player, this should be one of your first goals, is trying to get one of these weapons to rare in order to unlock it. As far as you advanced players out there, maybe this might be something that you haven't noticed, but the four original weapons, plus the staff and the spear, all have a straight across the board attack to them. But let's take a look at the Gale Force. Level one compared to level one, you can see the Gale Force has a starting attack higher than the R weapons. Now let's take a look at the Demon Blade. That's pretty much about a third higher for attack damage than the six standard weapons that we're used to seeing. As far as the bracelets, pumping gold and scrolls in them will increase your attack overall inside the game, but take a look at the quick shot and invincible bracelet. Getting these both to epic will unlock a 6% attack increase, which will help out your stats significantly. This makes these two items probably the best bracelets inside the game. And let's not forget the Lion Ring, which is also a great way to get that plus 5% at epic rarity. Now, if you're not struggling with the mobs, slapping a second one of these things on can give you a 10% increase total, and it really does make a difference. But like I said, it's not advised always to run two of them unless you're going in against bosses. For heroes, we all love pumping gold into our main in order to get that level up on to increase the attack, not to mention unlock the levels that will give bonuses for that specific hero and all hero bonuses. But look at the jump right there for increasing in a single star level. Not to mention that each time you upgrade with the chips in order to progress to the next evolution star, you're also going to gain bonuses on there too. And as far as a beginner, you're gonna wanna try to unlock every single hero there is and take them to either level 20 or 40, whatever that all hero bonus is. And that goes the same on the evolution side too. You should be trying to take them all to that two stars because they will gain all hero bonuses and some of those ones are attack. For the advanced players, Ayana, Shade, and Foreign all have attack increases for their seven star hero evolution. Yes, it is gonna cost some resources, but if you are able to at least do one or two of them, it could be enough to get you through that next chapter. For me, part of that huge attack increase that I got was from unlocking Aquifa and Lina and taking them to level 60 for that all hero attack bonus. Talents are another thing that should never be ignored for both beginners and advanced players. The power talent is going to give you some increased attack right off the bat, and this should be an easy one to come across. 
The enhanced equipment is going to give you a percentage increase for obviously things like the amount of attack damage inside your weapon and that bracelet. And then hero power-ups is going to increase those base stats of your hero. As far as the rune power-up, that could be a difficult one to get at first, but as you level that up, that will allow you to get higher stats by re-rolling your runes. And when it comes to the runes themselves, this is a great way to increase your attack as a beginner player. Not just re-rolling to try to get the stats that you want, obviously the power is going to be a good one and then the courage is going to be another good one. Both give attack stats to them. But at the beginning, every 20 times you re-roll for either the power or the courage, you're going to gain an additional 20 attack by the rewards. It will go up to 30 eventually, but at 20, you spend 100 runes and you spend 100,000 gold and bam, there's 20 attack for you. For advanced players, once you've unlocked all the rewards for rerolling these things, you're going to want to go back to the power and try to reroll to get the attack percentage increase and all damage increase. As far as the courage one, that's where you're going to want to go in and try to get the attack percentage and then your hero that you're maining, for me it'd be Guju base attack percentage increase by this. When it comes to the altars, this was another thing that helped get my attack that big jump. Unlocking the hero one, which by the way, you have to beat chapter 21 stage four to unlock. Getting the ascension on that definitely increased my attack. Now, every time you level it up will increase the attack to them, but when you go and ascend them, you do have the chance of getting attack percentages, hero base stats percentages, and equipment percentages, and all of those will definitely help out. Now, moving on to the jewels themselves, this is gonna be the other thing to be careful of because we all just want to keep on merging and fusing everything to get the best. Now the Ruby and the Kunzai are going to be the ones that will mainly give us increased attack to them, but obviously filling our level 4, level 8, 16, and 28 stats will give us significant bonuses inside the game. When slotting these jewels in place, we obviously want to get the weapon and spellbook to 16 as fast as possible because both of these will give an attack plus 5%. But we can also slot these inside the first spirit tab and also the locket tab. Another thing to keep in mind too is the bracelet tab. Although it doesn't take the ruby and the kunzai, it does gain a plus 350 attack once you get the slots to level 16. And on a quick side note, I don't have any sources or leaks, but I do smell new gems coming to the game. So if it does happen, just say, hey, I heard it from pick first. Moving on to the hatchery, the monster book, there's four slots and you should be unlocking all of them with gems. Putting a monster inside will give you those top stats that you see there, and obviously the stars down below, as you increase them, you will gain more stats. Now, I throw all the ones with the attack in there, as you can see here. It's just the highest that I have, but ideally, the goal is to go and try to upgrade the boss ones, because eventually, these bosses, at a high enough star level, will start giving good attack buffs and give enhanced equipment percentages added to your gear. And if you want to know more about farming these boss eggs or other eggs in general for a specific monster, join up on my Discord. We'd be glad to help you out and let you know where to get them and the best way to farm them. Now, this is one that I'm totally terrible at is farming tickets in order to buy outfits, but there is a number of outfits out there that are going to give all hero bonuses for the attack increase. And as far as the shade one, I think it's the crimson robe or whatever it is, that's going to be in the soul stone shop or whatever the PVP one is, the PVP points, let's just call them. Get 3,000 of those, you unlock it for a week, but supposedly after you purchase it, even after that week, you still hold on to those all hero bonuses. So a great way to start farming that. Just be careful with PvP because they do ban people that are not even cheating at the game. So I'm a little bit against it and I've been kind of staying away from it for the most part. But guys, this is what I have for you. If there is anything that I missed in here that would increase your attack, please post it in the comments so we could share with everybody else. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, I pick my butt.